Welcome to Impact Makers Radio, featuring industry thought leaders sharing problem-solving insights to help grow your business and live the life you love. And here's your host, Stuart Andrew Alexander. Hi, and welcome to another Let's Talk Retirement Conversation. And during this segment of the show, ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased to say that we finally have financial advisor Adam Palofsky of Telemus Capital from Southfield, Michigan. Now, Adam, who is an authority in the area of retirement planning, will be talking to you today about a very interesting topic. You see, Adam has taken the time out of his busy day to come and speak to us about building your retirement plan. So, if you are one of the increasing numbers of people approaching retirement age in the Southfield, Michigan area, yeah, it might be a good idea just to stop what you're doing, log out of Facebook or all that Twittering stuff and Instagramming or anything else you happen to be doing, which may cause a distraction, and listen in to what Adam has to share with us today. So with that said, he's a very busy guy. Let's not keep him waiting any longer. Welcome to the show, Adam. Oh, thank you for having me, Stuart. Appreciate it. You're so welcome. So let's just jump feet first in then, Adam. Briefly, in your own words, of course, describe the kinds of people who you serve and the various types of situations they find themselves in when they come to you for your help. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I work primarily with uh, high net worth individuals and families who are looking for uh, intelligent investment strategies to kind of help push them uh, to different financial goals that they might have. Um, you know, I work up and down the scale, everything from, you know, millennial generation to baby boomers and everything in between. And, uh, you know, we look at certain aspects of a client's current financial status, including their investments, their insurance, uh, their debt situation, estate planning. Um, and uh, people often seek my assistance when they're trying to determine whether or not they're prepared to retire. Um, and I'm able to kind of help them project, you know, based on what their current lifestyle is and what their, you know, their hope is in, in mm. retirement, uh, whether they'll be able to maintain or, 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 or reach those goals. Fantastic. So before we move on to our next question, Adam, let's just take a moment to make it absolutely clear that anything you share with us from this point on is not legal advice or legal assistance. It's purely for the purpose of disseminating information. Can we both agree on that, Adam? Uh, Yes, that's correct. Perfect. So with that said, when you think about those people approaching retirement age or those people who you just described who you help, what's the most common misconception they have surrounding the topic of building their retirement plans? So one thing that people often uh, miscalculate or misconception is is what their living expenses are going to be either currently or what they are in retirement. Um, people often what they want to overestimate how much they're going to spend in the retire because they have these ideas that they're going to be able to travel the world and they're going to you know be consuming the same amounts that they are when they're older. And this with people getting you know being 65 or 70 years old, they're just not able to do as much as they are when they're in their 40s or 50s or stuff that they want to do with their family. So um, people just kind of misbudget that a little bit. And uh, it's important for me to kind of go through that with them and, and share with them, you know, some of those, you know, things that are going to change and go up and down so they get a, a better idea of, of how they're going to be able to reach their goals. Okay, that's kind of interesting and leads me into my next question then, Adam. So going on what you just shared with us and obviously keeping your client's confidentiality in mind, please share an example or even a case study, so to speak, of how you have helped or even how you would go about helping somebody who came to you with those misconceptions or that challenge you just described. And yeah, what kind of transformational results you were able to or would be able to gain for them? This isn't really connect to one individual client. It's kind of more how we deal with clients as a whole. But we take them through a uh, financial planning process. And that process includes, you know, getting a, a kind of a net worth statement, seeing where their current financial position is, and then walking them through 
exactly where their money is going mm. and what goals they have ahead of them. So if someone wants to pay for their kid's college, that's usually a pretty common one. If someone wants to, you know, meet a certain dollar amount in retirement, you know, maybe they want to, you know, pay for their, their children's first home. You know, there's, there's so many different, you know, goals that people have in front of them. And we build those into an actual financial plan that says on this date, it's going to cost me this much for that and this much for this. And what we can do is take those numbers, create projections on whether their current investments are going to be able to get there. And if they're not, then we can make tweaks to, to what they have there. So it's, it's really a, a one-on-one like process of sitting down and having that discussion and laying all these goals out. And when somebody has like that, that specific time blocked off, you know, that hour or, you know, a couple hours every, every like two or three months, that really is a time for them to focus on these things and get an idea of what the big picture is. And we help to kind of work through, through that with people. Excellent. Thanks for sharing that in such great detail, Adam. So just as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, my guest today is financial advisor Adam Polofsky of Telmus Capital in Southfield, Michigan, and is here today talking about building your retirement plan. So with that in mind, Adam, and for those high net individuals who you help and they're listening in right now, And I know there are so many, but what's one of the many pitfalls or misguided truths that they need to be aware of no matter what situation they find themselves in? A big part of reaching your goals is going to be determining with the investments you have what investment allocation you have. You know, Mm -hmm. everybody's, you know, been told before like, oh, well, well, stocks have this great growth potential and bonds are a little bit more secure or or they can kind of you know, hedge or protect me a little bit, but, you know, what does my asset mix need to be? And traditionally someone sets it when they first uh, put their money in their retirement plan and maybe they don't look at it until they actually retire. There's changes you can make along the way and people forget that those types of tweaks are going to be a huge, a huge portion of whether they're going to be able to meet their goals. So, when someone says that they're going to retire, they might they might downshift and become more conservative, but they've got to understand that they're going to be in retirement for 20, possibly 30 years, and it might not make sense to get too conservative because you'll give up the potential return. So it's all going to come, you know, everybody's a little bit different. Everybody has a different risk tolerance. So you got to make sure that you are doing something that you're comfortable with, but you also have to have an understanding that certain asset classes offer higher potential returns Mm -hmm. and you need to be aware of what you're missing or uh, what you are going to be, you know, kind of going through with the volatility in the market. So you got, you got to have a full understanding of that. And the only way you're going to do that is, you know, if you don't already have that knowledge is to work with an advisor who can, who can walk you through that. Perfect. Perfect. So Adam, I'm kind of curious at this moment without going into your background, because we're going to speak about that later on. How many years have you been a practicing financial advisor? So I've, I've been an advisor and a certified financial planner for uh, over 10 years. So when you think about all the clients that you've helped to achieve their desired goals throughout your career, on a deep down personal level, Adam, what does it give you and how does it make you feel? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I have a, a unique background in that. I'm coming from my mother was a social worker and my dad was a banker. Mm. And I, I like to say that I'm kind of like a product between both of them and that I'd love to help people with, with financial stuff, but I love to help people first and foremost. Right. Um, so that, that combination has really, you know, kind of given me my niche and, and how I feel like rewarded. And that's by sitting down with people and, and helping them uh, reach their goals. I mean, it, it, I can't tell you how, you know, good it makes me feel when somebody tells me that, you know, their marriage has been improved because mm-hmm. my conversations have made things so much clearer for them and, and their goals are now aligned as a family. So uh, it's, it's certainly something that's very rewarding for me and it's, it's, it's a niche that I'm, I'm glad that I found for myself. Briefly, Adam, spend a moment talking a little bit about your backstory and your formal education and especially your experience as it relates to retirement planning. So I um, went to school at the University of Michigan in Dearborn, I've got a bachelor's degree in business, and uh, I also have my investment advisory license, 
I've got a certified financial planner designation and an insurance license. So I've got kind of the holistic, you know, planning support of, of, of knowledge and education. Um, and then I began my career working uh, at a brokerage firm at, at Raymond James, which is kind of like a regional brokerage firm. Mm-hmm. Uh, spent some time there and then uh, transferred over to uh, Thomas that I've been here for, for almost three years now. So um, definitely got, got quite a bit of background. The first thing I did out of college was go into financial planning and and that's where I've been uh, ever since. So again, then Adam, for those high net worth individuals who you serve, what final thoughts would you like to leave them with before we move on to our last question for today? I'd just like to say that you know it's it's important to to start early. You know, just because you don't think that you have the financial resources to to maybe save or invest now, there's still so many planning things that you can attack and address early. And it's, it gives you so much more options and flexibility when uh, you get down at the end of the road. Because if you wait too long, you, know, you really start to limit the strategies that, uh, that are available to you. And for those people in the Southfield, Michigan area who feel that they want to know more after listening to you today, then Adam, what's the easiest way for them to connect with you? Uh, you can reach me at 248-827-0126. You can also email me, that's A Pulaski, A P A W L O S K I, at telemus.com or go to our website, www.telemus.com, T E L E M U S.com. Fantastic. So that's all we have time for today. I feel like the time has just flown by so quickly, and I know you've just began to scratch the surface of the insights that you could have shared reference retirement planning but we do have to go so as a reminder once again ladies and gentlemen we have been listening to financial advisor adam polofsky thank you so much for sharing so generously with us today adam you have certainly demonstrated that you are a true educator advocate and i would even go as far as saying a trustworthy advisor for your client success so thank you All right. Thanks, Stuart. You're so welcome. And I'd also like to take a moment to say a big thank you to you. Yes, you, the listener. Without you, we we wouldn't have anybody to speak to. So thank you so much for joining us on this very insightful and informative conversation with one of the leading financial advisors in the Southfield, Michigan area today. Again, as a reminder, his name is Adam Polofsky. Yeah, make sure you do check him out. He shared his phone number, you know, give him a call or send him an email. Visit his website. There are some good resources on there. So whatever you do decide to do, I'm sure that after listening to Adam for just a short moment today, that you're going to be in good hands. So that's it for today, folks. Again, my name is Stuart Andrew Alexander, and we'll be back shortly with some more leading financial advisors in this, our series of Let's Talk Retirement Conversations. So, until then, take care, have a great day, and we'll talk real soon. Thank you for tuning in to Impact Makers Radio. To listen to all past, present, and future industry thought leaders and trendsetters, visit us at impactmakersradio.com.